and congratulate you as you have done fabulous job in your life. You are an inspiration for us, sir. I just want of today event. What is your today? What is your words of expression today? It is nothing but remembering my past from childhood till I retired from politics. And I thought I might write the story of my life for the benefit of future generations. Because the, most of the present generation people know my career. Yes. They were all been colleagues. <laughs> so there is nothing, a message for me to my colleagues. And, but it is a message for the youth of the, uh, the country who have ambitions to come up. So uh, ambition should be made of certain stuff. Mere ambition is not everything. It will be accompanied by hard work and God will help you automatically. But sir, in your lifetime, there was a break time, but like you were very low and very struggled. How you overcome that? Uh, that uh, speech or that day you still remember in your life and in, it can inspire so many people who want to be in this profession in the future. I, I took any job given to me seriously. Yes. I never thought any job is less than uh, other jobs. Mm. So though I've been posted to some anarchist po posts, I, I worked hard with them. Though everybody knew that I am work-minded and I'll do job anywhere you are given. So that's how I am able to impress my official bosses and political bosses. Yes. And I had a very wonderful career as an IPS officer. Yes. And then it was just an accident that I joined politics. Yes. And you did so nicely, big way. <laughs> I did plan hmm. so much. In fact, uh, in 1989, I tried hmm. to contest, but I could not get the ticket. And in 91, I I tried. And Mr. Bengal Rao, who was the former chief minister, former certain minister, he uh, asked me to contest from come up from his constituency. Hmm. So I, it was God said to me. So I, I tried my best and I got elected, though it is a new constituency and new area, new region. And I'm new to politics. But somehow I won. I never expected to be minister because I'm first time MP. Not my first time MP is so not going to minister's post. But after I went to Delhi, mm -hmm. I was surprised that P. Nastar included me in the union minister's list and I was sworn in uh, Deputy Minister of Communications. Yes. Then later I became Minister of State Power, then Minister of State for Water Resources. I enjoyed all the three portfolios and I worked hard to the best of my ability and to satisfy my bosses. But what is your fitness funda, sir? What makes you fit? That is, see, fitness is nothing but in my, your mind. Your mind guides your fitness. As long as you are uh, happy and active, the health will take care of itself. So what is your daily schedule, sir? We want to know. Daily schedule? Daily schedule. Your daily schedule. Ah, daily? Yes. I am a retired person now, mm. both from my service and politics. Mm. So I get up in the morning around 6.30. Uh, over a cup of, cup, of, cup of coffee, I read the or Telugu and English newspapers. Then after taking bath, I pray for about an hour. That is my daily habit. It has been there with me for the last 40 years. Yes. So after prayer, I have a breakfast and uh, take rest or ta talk to some people when I take form. Then after about lunch, I take 1.30 and go to sleep. I get up at 4.35 and uh, have a cup of tea and some biscuits. Then at around 6 o'clock, I go for evening walks. I work for an hour, come back, take bath, watch the TV for news, and 9 o'clock have dinner and then sleep. Oh, wow. <laughs> and sir, what is your dream? Any dreams still pending? All no. dreams covered? All, all dreams have been covered wow. and nothing forward. <laughs> I'm only looking for my final journey uh -huh. with, from, as, as ordained with God. Wow, what Thanks. a life. So would you like to give message to the people who have inspired by you and looking forward to follow you? I don't know who 
who was inspired. There, there have been some junior officers who told me that I was the inspiration for them to write the exam and get into IAS and IPS. So it, it is for them to take inspiration from me. But I am not going to teach anything. So I am saying that I have done this, I have done that. No, they have to observe my career and take inspiration from me. So and any, if advice, I, any advice? Any advice? My wife was very helpful. She, was, she had better common sense than me. And she guided the family. And it looked up a very, very family affair. I was not able to spend much time because of my schedule. From the, right from the day I joined IPS till I retired from politics. So she was, though she was a vocal critic, she was a silent admirer. So you have to sacrifice a lot on family time. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir.